Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up anonymous FTP in Avaya Proactive Contact. Since Proactive Contact system moved to Linux operating system, the FTP comes disabled by default. The default method used for transferring files is secured FTP or SFTP. But in some situations, anonymous FTP is needed. For example, granting access to only a public directory on the system and that too anonymously. The VSFTPD or very secure FTP daemon provides this facility. To begin with, you have to first download these files as shown on the screen from the Avaya support website. Now we'll look at the installation part. For this demonstration, I've already downloaded the files from the Avaya support website and I've put them in the slash TMP directory. And as you can see, I have logged on as a root user and uh, I also have the checksum values for the two files just in case you need to verify if they have reached correctly to the system or not. Now the first step would be to give uh, executable permissions to the .rpm file. So I'll do a ch mode on it. And then I will install the .rpm using the command rpm-i. When I press enter, the RPM has been installed. Just to make sure that it has been installed, I'll run the command. And you can see the VSFTPD RPM shows installed now. Now when the RPM was installed, it would have created a VSFTPD directory under the slash etc. Let's go there. If you do ls hyphen l here, you'll see a default vsftpd.con file. I'll move this configuration file to another name. Something like .orig. And then I'll copy the file from the slash tmp directory to slash etc slash vsftpd. I'll do ls-l again and I can see the file there. I'll rename this file to .conf So basically we have replaced the default vsftpd.conf file with the one that we downloaded from the Avaya website. And as a standard you must also set the permission levels same as the original file. So I'll do a ch mode again. Once this is done, we will now configure the automatic startup of VSFTPD daemon using the xinitd. For that, I first need to go into the directory slash etc slash xinitd.d. Here I have to create a file with the name VSFTPD. And the contents of the file would be something like this. I've created the script already on a notepad file. You can see it is a small script with some configuration values in it. So you copy this from the notepad file and paste it on the VI editor. I'll save this file. So this file has been created now. Now the next step would be to configure the firewall rules to accept any incoming FTP requests. So for that, I first go into the slash etc slash firewall slash conf. If I do ls hyphen l here, you'll see the file cs hyphen rules dot sh. I'll edit this file using a vi editor. And then I'll look for the entry for the IP tables for the port 21, that is for FTP. So you can see the IP tables rule for FTP is currently commented out. We will uncomment this and save the file. So that way you have modified the firewall rules to accept any incoming requests on the port 21 that is used for the FTP. Once that is done, we will now restart the XNED service and the IP table service.
Now that we have set up the anonymous FTP, let's test it out. For that I can simply use a DOS command prompt and try to FTP to the system. And as you can see it asks me for the username. Here you can either give FTP as the username or use anonymous. I'll use anonymous. And for password you can either type any password or simply press enter. I'll press enter and you can see that it says login successful. And once you're logged in you can run your normal FTP commands. If I do a DIR, you can see it is showing me the contents of the public directory on the dialer. Just to make sure, on my party session, I'll go into the public directory. If I do a ls-l here, you'll see the same contents as you see on the FTP session. So that means you have access to opt via PDSX for public directory and all the directories inside it. And as you would know, normally all the raw files are stored in the second public directory inside the current one. So let me go there. If I do a DIR again, I'll see the existing raw files in the system. Let me try and download one from here. Let's say I'll download rcv file 10.raw. The FTP is complete. Now on the dialer, does it log these activities somewhere? Yes, you would see them under slash var slash log. Let's go there. And as you can see, there is this vsftpd.log getting generated here. If I cat this, you'll see these entries getting written and uh, also the IP address from where the request came from. So this log can be used for troubleshooting purposes also in case you need to check if there was an anonymous FTP initiated to the dialer. So that concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at or at Mentor on Twitter. Thank you for choosing Avaya.